Western this morning, and a massive portion of the bridge fell into the water, along with several vehicles. A law enforcement official has confirmed the ship, quote, lost propulsion before hitting the bridge. Two people have been rescued so far from the water. One is in critical condition. Six people are still not accounted for. The governor of Maryland has declared a state of emergency. We know the key bridge. I've ridden over the key bridge countless times. So many of us know the key bridge because it is our normal commute. This is a place that is a normal commute route for over 30,000 Marylanders every single day. And so to hear the words that the key bridge has collapsed, it's shocking um, and heartbreaking. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Welcome to another episode, Real Conversations Podcast, man. We got a, we got a good one for the day, man. It's titled, Is It Safe Outside, man? I mean, the title alone should tell y'all where we going with this tonight. But uh, if y'all want to tap in, tap in, be my guest. Um, I will leave a link in the um, bottom pretty soon. I just want to get it warmed up, you know. I will be your host tonight, Smooth, Mr. Smooth, whatever you want to call me. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and all our audio uh, platforms from Spotify to Apple and etc. So tonight we're going to start off with the Baltimore crashing at the Baltimore Bridge, the uh, cargo truck crashing into the bridge, collapse, making the bridge collapse few deaths and a few missing people and we're going to talk about the latest news with diddy and we also going to ask y'all the question is it safe outside for your family your kids your grandmothers things of that nature i want to bring on a close friend of mine also a music producer of mine we made some a lot of hits y'all can go just look that up my boy divine on the track now let's get it and what's up everyone what's up what's up What's going on with you, man? Yo, smooth, man. Pleasure. Thanks for having me, man. Appreciate you bringing me on. For sure, for sure, man. How you feeling? Uh, uh, you know what? I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. I can't complain. I can't complain. I came outside for some quiet time, and she brought the whole party outside. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go in the room or something. Man, I, I, they're trying to have a whole... They trying to have a whole outing outside. Yeah, we we good though. I'm, I'm gonna stay here not by this window. All right, for sure, for sure. All right, so like I said, first topic we're gonna touch on is that Baltimore Bridge. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, Prince Scott Key Bridge. Yeah, six ninety five. Yeah, you got peoples over there, right? Yeah, man, I got family out there, and um, yeah, man, it, it, it's gonna hurt. it hurts. Uh, the city's grieving right now. Um, we are kind of, I guess, blessed in the sense that it happened so late in the morning, but, you know, we, we lost all the construction workers out there. And if you watch just before that, uh, just before the bridge collapse, there's like an 18-wheeler and like two cars hauling ass <laughs> just getting across the bridge just before it collapsed, man. They saw that thing coming. They said, we got to get across this thing now. They were, they were not, they were not playing. <laughs> yeah. So do you think it's, a, it's some type of conspiracy behind it? Do you think like... Honestly, I don't think there's a conspiracy behind it. Um, I, uh, it sounds like it could have been an, uh, an interference system we're talking about. I'm not sure if that's mechanical, electrical, a computer system uh, problem, but uh, some, something happened for sure. Um, after going, I've been watching the video because I didn't really agree with me at first that the power went out because the lights were on at the time of impact. But if I went back and watched the whole video, yeah, it seems like it was coming out of the port and uh, something happened where the, the whole boat went dark and then, you know, they, uh, it, it kind of it drifted you know, off its path a little bit, power got back on for a little bit and then shut back off. So they were having some issues with the boat and uh, whatever was going on. Um, they said they dropped the anchor before um, impact. And so that was on the, on the support side. And they said they had to call, it says the call out um, for help. Um, it was essentially 911, right? As soon as they found out that uh, the ship was failing. So um, I just wish that someone could have just steered that thing more away from the from the uh, from the pillar from the pylon. But as you see, an impact it, it took a giant chunk out of the boat, out of the um, the bow of the ship, which is the head of the ship, and yeah. everything else was kind of collapsed on top. I'm surprised all them um, all the source containers stayed up there, stayed on top perfectly, <laughs> man. And they said that thing was over a hundred thousand tons. 
so heavy and no way i mean that's not like stopping at a stop you know what i mean that that was gonna, that's like trying to stop um a hundred car train on a track and trying to get them to stop and that takes miles for sure okay so let's let's just break it down like what do you think the people that were um the families that were involved what do you think they how they should go about it like legally how the, how do the family how do, like, how they should pursue le legal um like reparations like, for like, like um you know the the people that died or missing what should the families do like your in your advice like your suggestion what should the families do to um that sounds like maybe so i think it sounds like whoever, whoever made the boat i think that's, that's probably, i'll probably start there whoever the company owns the boat um probably should be responsible because it sounds like it was a failure um, a ship there on on their end so they were having a, like a mechanical issue a, a quality a quality issue that happened um that, that occurred um i think the people in the boat probably should be the first people responsible and then probably um the people who are owning the, not the people who are owning the ship but whoever was manning the boat um probably could be next in charge but i think the, the people who own the, the who own the boat uh are probably responsible for um the deaths of the people because they're, they're responsible for maintaining the maintenance and the and the um just the, the capacity of the boat itself you know what i mean right right uh so we just gonna say that thought right now we're gonna bring on my cousin he just tapped in he also has been on this podcast before cjs y'all know him man cjs art vibes llc go tap in but well, we're gonna see how, how he think about this situation for sure. So, cuz, let us know how you feel, man. How you feel, cuz? What's going on? Cuz, you hear me? Yeah, hold on. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna let him get it right. We're gonna let him get it right. But uh, what you were saying though, uh, Devon? Yeah, man. So again, yeah, I think the first person who holds the most responsibility is the people who own the boat um for the quality insurance or or uh probably a quality check that that, that was done before the, the boat left uh where prior port it was in make sure that they, they weren't having any issues and then uh after that probably the, who was ever running who, whoever was in charge of the ship at the time probably also hold some liability as you know um they're responsible for overseeing um the ship, the ship as a whole so um and that goes down all the way to the the, the um the entry level mechanic who's 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 helping uh man the engine room you know what i mean so making sure that those components are correct they're um they're in spec uh all the materials up to date etc cetera, etc cetera. you know i think all that um, all that plays a part into um the maintenance of the ship and its its ability to do its uh to function properly all right all right i feel you on that i feel you on that you broke that down to a science <laughs> but a lot of people not gonna feel that way a lot of people are going to be angry a lot of people are going to move off emotions a lot of people are going to go to the mayor of that town they're going to go to the, the builders the construction company whoever built the bridge like it's a lot of factors i i, I can see that i could see the, the bridge playing some uh some part of the responsibility but again i think the bridge was made like in the 70s if i'm not mistaken like 73 or 77 uh i think it was in 77 that the bridge was constructed and if they haven't done the required maintenance that they're supposed to do because if you build a structure like that i'm uh i can only assume that the correct way to kind of keep up with that that, that type of um project is to do like a periodic for that six months yearly five years or whatever that maintenance schedule is to keep up and maintain that make sure that the things are inspected and everything's in code and if that wasn't up to date if they were years behind or not funded properly to help uh, keep that maintained because i'm assuming that's, that's a that's a state or uh, uh a government uh funded like program to help build Structure, infrastructure like that then yeah that's definitely then that's definitely part of the city's problem to maintaining that bridge for sure yeah yeah i feel you on that the, the, you gotta unmute your mic because if you want to tap in you gotta unmute your mic yeah. but yeah i, I want to get this before we go to the next topic but uh like i'm saying like a lot of people are saying this was the scene in the lead of world behind movie with the obama they talked about a some boat crashing into a bridge and then that, that just going on like 
leading to the end of the world, pretty much. I've heard about that movie. Now. I gotta, I gotta sit down and watch it. Is that docu series? Is it a full? Is it a full movie? Oh, it's a full movie on Netflix. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta check that out. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, man, it's uh, it's sad, and so uh, that uh. That bridge took you through the southern part of, uh, of Baltimore and up, uh, up around to the uh, to the east side, and it did up to 95. So it's, they're going to divert traffic. It's going to be so. The, I mean, 895, 295, um, the other side of 695. They're going to be packed trying to get up and around that area, or having force you having to go through the city just to get to the other side. And then they also said that the uh, the boats that were um, that were already in port, but along with that one, um, are stuck there. They can't move until they get that debris out of the way, and then there's boats pending to get into the bay to deliver their goods as well. So they're they're stuck outside the bay trying to get in. So there's other ways to get the um, the goods delivered, but the uh, the people who use that port in and out they're stuck for a, for a minute until they get that debris cleared. They also said that they were trying to have that bridge cleared up by the end of May. I said, damn, that's quick. You know what I mean? So where the where the uh, whenever the white man's money is threatened. <laughs> they'll do they'll do what they got to do to get that shit cleared up in a hot minute. But let it let it be somebody else's port. Right, cuz so what you got to say cuz let 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 it be known. What you got to say cuz? Chris, you hear me? I thought that was tragic. Okay. Okay, you thought it was tragic. What you think the family should do to 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 uh uh get that you know they just do for their family members? Obviously, go after the city for for um pretty much go after it go after the city for millions of dollars. Right, right. I feel you. I feel you. Go after the city. Yeah, pretty yeah. much sue the city for you know injuries and death. You know, if there are deaths, you know, for wrongful deaths. Right. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. So, like, I mean. It's a tragedy, but at the same time, like, can we also agree that America's infrastructure is, is slowly declining each year? Yeah, it's been declining since 2020. Right. And you know, our so-called tax dollars go to that, right? Yeah, my tax paying money. Right. Right. That's that's that bullshit. That's that's the shit we have no control over, pretty much, right? Right. Unfortunately. Right. Yeah, unfortunately. That's that's just crazy, man. I think um all state and local governments should be a little more transparent with their receipts about where the, where our money's going and what it's being used for. I think that would be that would be nice to know, like, okay, the city spent uh six hundred thousand or six million dollars on infrastructure this year or 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 six million dollars on education this year, like whatever wherever it goes to, and those 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 should be like itemized bills or receipts broken broken down to show okay where exactly our money went. Oh, oh we know because we know the uh you know we know the white man's getting paid, so like <laughs> <laughs> you gotta know that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they're taking a cut off top. They said, oh, I, right. they, they, they need a pre tax. <laughs> You feel me? They didn't made you buy the boat, material for the bridge. I mean, <laughs> we can go on and on about that. Right? They don't care. They don't yeah. give a damn. No, nah, they don't give a damn. In Baltimore, hey man, real conversation podcast. Y'all need to handle that. It's like y'all almost trying to sweep it under the rug. Like, oh, we gonna rebuild the bridge. What about the people though? What about the citizens who lost their life, their families, their kids? Like, what what are they going to get in return for this tragedy that nobody prepared for? Nobody woke up that day and thought this was going to happen. Right. No, it's, it's, um, it's definitely sad. And they, they, they hit that water. And I think I think another thing about that, that those waters in those bays, they're only, I think, a couple hundred feet deep. And so... Um, the families that were on that bridge, um, the, they may re, they may recover some of the bodies later on because they're underneath all that debris. So once they find them, uh, the fact that it was cold, uh, the fact that we're, they were trapped, even pretty sure hypothermia set in, and I'm pretty sure that um, you know they're they're just weighed down by all of the debris that was in the water. So I'm I'm pretty sure they'll find the rest of, remaining of those bodies in there. But unfortunately, I think I think yeah, the 
It's amazing. Uh, yeah, they're no longer with us. And it, it is sad. So we, like I said, RIP, rest their souls. We're gonna get on to the next topic. I'm about to play this clip. We're gonna bring everybody off. We're gonna come back on. All right. Francine, before the break, I was telling you all we would be giving you the very latest information as it relates to P. Diddy. Right now, I want to give you a live look out in Times Square, a different New York shot as we continue to talk about the very latest. We know in the first nine months of 2023, Sean Diddy Combs triumphantly performed at the MTV VMAs, released an R&B album that released that received a Grammy nomination and was a suitor to buy the BET network. But several lawsuits filed late last year raised allegations of sexual assault and rape against Combs, one of hip-hop's most recognizable names as a performer and producer. The music mogul's homes in Los Angeles and Miami were searched Monday by federal agents with Homeland Security investigators and other law enforcement. Officials saying the searches were connected to an investigation by federal authorities in New York City. Joining us live this morning to further... Yeah, man, what's going on with that, man? What's going on with that? Diddy, we're going to get to Diddy. P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Puff Combs, Brother Love, whatever name he's going by. Man. Diddy, man. Hey, Diddy. Man. I'm on a lot of your music, Diddy, but hey, these allegations getting crazy, bro, bro. I was, I'm skeptical, and I think he's fucked, but I. Yo, I mean, yeah, there's been sketchy shit about him that's been out and allegations out for years about him. And uh, I don't trust him. If, if, if I'm to be frank with you, I don't trust him. I mean, I know you're a legend, a legend in black culture and black music history, but that record gets tainted when you when you you start fucking around with the wrong with the wrong shit. I don't think people really even I don't think people care enough about that about like about the the legacy and what they live. Yeah, you, you may have you know produce like massive hits and things but like at, at what cost like why, why carry the bags with that why, why can't you just you know just just be great but it, it's, it's something something to do when you sign that contract when you when you, when you want it that bad i don't know I'm you feel it, just, how you feel about that i am in total shock it's like now he's a second freaking um R. Kelly. <laughs> yeah. They yeah, said man, uh, worse, talking about worse, man. Might be worse. This they saying this shit going back like 30 years ago. And now they saying that a uh, big Clyde Davis, another executive, he put Diddy on the shit. So like Diddy was introduced by the heat, you know what I'm saying? It's just a criminal hmm. effect. And then, allegation. and then right. there was also an allegation that um, Diddy was, you know, also partially responsible for Biggie's death. Oh, we yeah. All know about that. Oh, yeah. We yeah. All, yeah. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm sorry to say this, but the melanated people created all genres of music. But when it comes to hip hop and deaths, they look over that shit. Let's just be honest. This is just first, you know, the Nickelodeon shit, and now <laughs> Diddy stuff. Wow. Yeah, man. 2024 been crazy. Yeah, that, that Nickelodeon shit hurt because uh, I, I was all into the shows and cartoons, and I watched ma majority of the shows they were talking about, and that's sad because yeah, I, hell, we grew up, we grew up with that stuff, and yeah, we thought it was all fun and games. I, Hell, I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like Drake and Josh, some of the shit that they're doing, and, and some of like, the game shows on iCarly and whatever, they look they're kind of fun doing. I was like, oh yeah, that'd be interesting and have a robot made out of metal and bottles and cans and do funk, you know. Uh, yeah, also about the iCarly earlier today, I saw a video on YouTube where Miranda Cosgrove, you know, felt con felt uncomfortable with Dan Schneider during yeah. the behind the scenes of iCarly. I did see Dan Schneider in a few of them shows back in the day. Real talk, I did see him. Like, I never right. really paid attention, but like, yeah, he was in a lot of them shows. I mean, like, let's be honest, look at him. He looked like a creep. He is a creep. 
Like, right, let's just be honest. He looked like a weird type of cat. He do. Y'all, y'all hear what Breakfast Club said, or this, uh, when when uh, when Drake came out with them allegations, and they said his dad was in the uh, studio with him while he was like shooting and film, and then they, they would they, he would say that they would they would watch, or he would watch him, uh, he watch Dan like touch and manipulate and like manipulate Drake in like in, in weird right. su- suspect ways, but then like then like wouldn't I don't know wouldn't really do anything, and then told his wife like hey make sure you watch that man around my son. Listen, if you're already suspecting some shit, that's it. Like that's like that's that's a wrap. Like we're out. Come I'm on, son. Like we gone. Like totally honest. In 2024, we have to stop like like hiding from the fact that the whole entertainment industry has dark energy. Like we just has to be real. We gotta be like it's out there. So many documentaries. So many kids that's been lost and, and, and you know what I'm saying never seen again and. Kill they sell and all these crazy right. stories, man. Yeah, but entertainment and sells, but you would think like you would learn a lesson by that. Like, you know, we uh <laughs> hey, how many how many more of these stories do we need to keep keep hearing? How many people need to continue to keep coming out with it's, it's gonna continue. Yeah, you know what I mean? I know. It and, work. Well well mm-hmm. this channel's next. Disney Channel is the worst though, but they they're the most loved, so it's gonna be hard to bring them down. I well, they're they're already they're already fucked up with the reputation right now with all them shitty movies they've been um and TV shows they've been putting out over the last uh what five years five six years that you know the, the, the reputation's already starting to and their stocks have definitely felt uh felt the shit so. And honestly, I'm a, I'm gonna say it like this because I used to be one of those people like, oh why did why didn't they come out then why didn't they but we don't know their situation. We not in their shoes, right? You know what I'm saying? Like we don't know, we just don't know, man. We a lot of things we just prejudge. I feel like a lot of us just judge. Off, oh, I would have done this. I would honestly, we haven't been in them position, so you don't know what you would do. Not saying like they shouldn't have came out, but at the same time, you can't you can't judge somebody for like if that's their truth. Whenever it, you know what I'm saying, when whatever however long it's been. I mean, I feel I feel like it should be a legal time frame where you can't you can't uh you can't like charge somebody, but I mean, like especially if they're adults, like with the kids, that's a little different. But you know, yeah, man. Like, and, and to your point, like you can't blame them. like you, they're 13, 15 years old, being touched inappropriate. And it's like, well, hell, there's no difference than you, no different than you. Like if you're seven or eight, like who do you tell? What do you say? How do you how do you like, approach it? How, how do you tell somebody that? Like, 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 you know. Nine times out of ten, the parents are selling their kid. Like, they more starstruck than the kids. It's like yeah, because through the kids, you know. Because it's, it's never seen two or three hundred thousand dollars in the face before. And they're like, oh, we can get that if you do this. Oh, okay. Right. And a lot, a lot of them got their own debts. They got to, they got to pay out or pay, or pay off, and and that's that's unfortunate. It's a way out. It's like. Uh, you know yeah man so with that being said we about to ask the question the title of the other of the, of the episode is it safe outside man well, nope about safe outside i'm talking about remember them days even though we in our 30s you know we not older like we in our mid age whatever but we remember days where doors was unlocked you could walk right. around the block you could do a lot of things without parental advice, like your parents on your ass, like they seen to the store, you know. But nowadays, right. it's not like that. A lot of people not to be trusted. A lot of people not to be uh. A lot of people not to be like you can't trust people with your kids. Who's who's that guy? Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Antoine, whatever his name is. <laughs> Who had that? Who had made that commercial? Made that uh that statement when his uh when, when his house was burglarized? Or, yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, right. Uh, that's the model nowadays. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. <laughs> hide everybody. All stay in the house. Right. Hide everybody. I mean, at the same time, it's like <laughs> we we in the information age, so you know. Yeah. Is it? I mean, listen. To answer the question seriously. Is it safe outside? No. Has ever been outside? No, because the predators that we that we seeing now, just because they're being exposed, doesn't mean they weren't there when we were, you know, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen. Um, 
it's like just the um is, the difference is we the parents now so right. it's up to us to break the cycle break all these generational curses it's up to us to stand firm on our beliefs and you know what i'm saying right we'll probably set some new ground rules and new boundaries yeah no you're right i get it um but we have to be careful not to cross the line it's like you know when are we restricting the freedom to play for the kids and letting them kind of go and explore the world because that's also how we found out about the world as well so uh, it, it's a balance act to a degree like where we have to like let them hey you gotta go out and play but you need to know if something happens or happens to you or um you see something happen you need to know who to call and and you know what to do so um like it's like education of the, of the kids with you know with allowing a little bit of freedom hey like you know you also need to kind of do you make your own choices to you know to, to an extent yeah but a lot of these things like you guys think about it divine a lot of these things you can't not like okay like okay like even drinking from the water holes ain't the same bro like mm, yeah we no, no, you're right back then it was uh, all good now you might get some shit you ain't never coming back from thanks no like it's so different and they're like, still doing with, with <laughs> michigan out there still doing with them water with them water problems and water issues and that's not even right like how long has that been going on i'm in vegas i'm in vegas right now and they got rules on water and grass like if you if you water your grass over a certain time or a certain amount during the week you get fine oh y'all still in the water is that because yeah, is that because yeah, the lake y'all use it still low yes water shorts yes, oh yeah for yeah uh, that, yeah yes, how you feel how you feel is it safe outside that's the question no. <laughs> right. I got I got I got I got another cuz about to hop on. Cuz, what up, man? C4. C4. What up? What's the word? Oh is shoot. It, I like you doing that. Damn. Is it safe outside, cuz? Is it safe outside? That's the question. It's cold outside, dude. <laughs> nah, is it safe outside? Not is it cold, man. Yeah, it's safe. You, you yourself, I'm talking about for the kids, for the daughters, for the family. Oh, yeah. I don't know, cuz all we all agreed it ain't safe. Three, three, three against one. It ain't safe out here, cuz. I don't feel safe as hell myself. <laughs> why not? Why not, cuz? Chris, why, why you say that? You know, um, not just in the entertainment industry, but sometimes, you know, there are predators in your own neighborhoods or, you know, crazy people. Mm -hmm. Not just, you know, predator rise, but sometimes, you know, just violent rise. The ones that were right, stabbing I mean, the back. Hell, and nowadays you don't even know who your neighbors are. And they can right, be the ones watching, got, your, watching got, your kids. They got apps to tell if your neighbors is predators. Right, like, yeah. Crazy, man. Or if a uh, neighbor is a is a former, you know, convicted felon for or felon or sex offender, okay. yeah, like you got to register yourself like on a on a list, like on a registry right. almost, and or just right. or got released right. from prison for murder or something, on ex. Mm -hmm. But at right. the same time, you got to give people a second chance. You can't judge everybody. I just, I mean, I just keep to my, I just stay to myself, period. But my dad's trying to get me to go outside more, to get out of the house more. <laughs> Cuz, what you say, Cuz? C4, what you say? Ain't nobody giving P. Diddy a second chance. Man, P. Diddy had 30 chances. Ain't nobody getting Diddy. I know your Diddy ain't right, cuz oh, that's a little different for him. Niggas like I should Diddy know Pinky was. I should have known Pinky was was shady as hell. Hell yeah, cuz you know he ain't right. He did Biggie wrong as hell. Oh, of course, man, of course. I mean, far as the contract, right? You ready to catch it too? Here, here's. <laughs> He ripped all they ass off, cause they ain't had no publishing or nothing. Wow. Right. Yeah. Then he tried to so give it back years later. 
Yeah, that's that insane. Man, he did that's insane, man. And then you think like people just gonna bow down. Nah, enough is enough. They said, hey, allegedly they said Jay Z next. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I think he's supposed to be caught up in the, in the two, and I forget how he's tied in, but yeah, there's speculation that he's involved. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's wild. Let me ask y'all this. The um, back to the Diddy thing. The Diddy thing with Cassie when he when he gave her all that the, the, tens or hundreds of million dollars to keep quiet. Do you think that was an admission of guilt or? Hell yeah. Think, yeah he Hell he just didn't yeah. want to settle. Or he, come, or he's on, gonna, come on, with that, but Think of it like this. this is like that's like on the streets. <laughs> a chick saying you did something. And you ain't do it. You ain't giving a shit. You ain't paying her. You ain't. You won't actually tell her. I ain't giving you shit. Like you literally gonna tell her that. Right. But if you, if you did it, oh, you breaking right. that bread. Hey, look, look, don't say shit. <laughs> look, I know I'm wrong. Whatever you gonna pay that bread, quick. But the bread can't. Right. Can't, can't, I know that's an old that's an old conversation, but. The bread can't, you feel me? The dab is still done. I mean, the bread is good, but you know, can the bread? Oh, I yeah, you can't think what you did back, and that's can the bread. Can the money? Can the money delete what happened? Can it delete what happened? Nah. Yeah. Can it make? Like, you, yeah. Can it make you uh, yeah, Nah, it, it can't take it. I mean, actions actions are permanent. Right. Yeah, yeah. ashes are permanent. Yeah, you... but you know how I be. That's the same with the Disney shit. Them parents probably been new, but Disney got that bank account. Hey, what y'all want? What y'all need? College paid off? What? <laughs> no, what y'all know what what needs to happen? Disney. Sure, yeah, that's like it's definitely run deep. But then we keep putting out this this many shitty movies, and it's, it's still got money to produce more. Nah. <laughs> You said what should happen to him? What you say? What needs to happen? Like what needs what happened to R. Kelly and what should happen to um what happened what should happen to um P. D. is this Sean and P. Diddy and Dan Shannon all needs to be locked up. Yeah. All need to let you share. Yeah. Man, you know, but I to, man, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes people feel like nah, they Nah, so they need to die. Ain't no, ain't no locked up. I need to handle that. Them parents, them family, some niggas ain't gonna let that shit go. I don't care if he locked up. I don't care what I want to see. Till he gone, I ain't happy. That's it. Family, man. A lot of people that believe that, you know, a life for a life. What's the old saying? Nah, nah, tooth for a tooth. Yeah. Night for a night. I, I still sometimes feel like an eye for an eye. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, I bet you feel like that. <laughs> I mean, if you, do, you know, if you do something to me, like, you know. Especially, you especially when it comes to your me, child. Right. When it comes to your child, your mama, your wife, your family, man, shit ain't so sweet then. You're right. Or your sibling. Shit ain't so just That's what I'm saying. When it comes to your kids or to your wife. Or to like any part of your immediate family, it's kind of, it's kind of like all bets off the table. Like like the gloves come off. Like fuck it. Like we going all in. <laughs> you know what I mean? We going all in. Y'all went all the way in with y'all moves. So hey, right. Sometimes people, or sometimes, or sometimes people with disabilities in I four nine. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel you. Oh man. I see. Shit get real, man. I mean, hey, what else y'all want to mm. talk about? Hey, we can be on here for th four hours. What up? I got something y'all want to talk about? Cuz, you want to talk about baby mamas? What's up? Oh, uh, baby mama drama? Oh, man. Yeah, that's cuz favorite subject. I don't know why he acting shy. <laughs> Yeah, man. That shit. Well, hey, any of y'all hey, What stories you got, cuz? Saying he don't know what he on. Any of y'all seen that uh Bob Marley movie? <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. yet. I heard it's a good nah, movie. Nah, I'm kind of done with remakes. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, but like, 
it looks oh, it looks all right, but like I'm, yeah, right now me and the movies are kind of on a we're on two different wavelengths. Uh, the last good thing I saw was Doom Part Two, and the only thing I'm really looking forward to this year is things Deadpool Three. So that's what will come out this year. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. And then one, 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 one more movie on my radar. It ain't been no good thrillers in so long. That's true. By the way, because I just started your painting. Oh, for real? Yeah, I, I said, well, I really, I started two weeks ago. Okay, send me that. Send me that PayPal. I'm gonna get you right. Yeah, painting? Is it? Is it a? Yeah, he paint. He paint. Cover. Shot, shot, shot your, shot your business out, cuz. Shoot, put yeah, turn the camera on and, and give us some. <laughs> nah, he don't want to talk. You gotta go to his interview. We interview. We had the interview. I'm a pick. Right on. The interview was just a little. It was good, but it was a little choppy as hell because due to the audio. <laughs> Yeah, y'all I'm sorry to interrupt you, bro. Uh, go ahead and shout your stuff out again. Yeah, go on, shout your shit out, uh, okay. okay, my business. Huh? He's just talking. Don't worry about that. Go ahead, Chris. Anyways, um, my business is CSJ, CSJ Art Buyers LLC. It's a online, um, pretty much online art store for digital prints, and now I'm offering painting. Right on, man. And also, um, this, and we keep doing photography. Thing. Right now, it's been slow yeah. lately. Only I, I um, only sold two little paint, um, little prints, and I'm still trying to make more sales and stuff this year. You know, it's been slow lately. Because you ain't got to tell them that. You just sold a billion paintings. Yeah. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you better make it sound good. You just sold about 15,000 paintings this year. What you talking about? But yeah, I am making this painting for Cousin Jazz. Well, Jay Smooth, um, it's, a, um, it's his book cover. <laughs> yeah, he's going to make my book cover. Yeah. All right, that's right gonna, on. That's going to be hard. That's right. You did tell me you're working on the next one. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can't get no data. That's on right. That yeah, I can't get no data. You got, you got a title for it for the second one? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I shout do. out to all six of my baby mamas. Good. Oh, gosh. Let them know what's going on with you, cuz when your when your new music drops, who to look out for? Let them know. Is that is got it? I'll say, is that our cousin really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my kid on my. Uh, you don't know him. You don't know him. Chris. No, I don't. I don't know yeah, him. You don't know him. You don't know him. Chris. It's my other other cousin. Yeah, you don't know him, dog. He ain't he ain't grow up with us. He he another cat. He my he my he my blood brother people type shit. You feel me? Okay. He my cousin though. He came up. You feel me? Yeah, man. He cool dude. He just like to clown a lot. That's it. I see. I see. He likes to clown. <laughs> he just like to clown. <laughs> he just like to clown a lot. That's it, girl. That's it. We just have it a little fun. We just have it a little fun. All right, so what else, man? We about to end the episode. We've been on here 40 minutes. What y'all got to say? Well, continue. Well, get your friends or family to um, support my business. <laughs> there you go. This, this year. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, cuz. All right, man. Hit me up on the back end. We're going to work yeah, something so, out. Um, yeah. And also down with Diddy and Dan Schneider. <laughs> I, I, I got, I got, I got to watch that documentary. I think that documentary uh, been out for a little bit now. I got to go catch that. Uh, what you got to say, Devon? What you got to let them people know? And hey, keep your head up. <laughs> keep grinding. Keep hustling. Right, man. <laughs> Make the money double, man. We're gonna, it's gonna hit me up for another episode. We're gonna get it in again. Man, yeah, that's, that's about it with this one, man. I'm gonna finish up Easter here with, with his family. We're gonna call it a night. Back, right. back at work tomorrow morning. All right, love. For sure, hit me up. Cuz, what you gotta say, man? What you gotta tell the folks, man? You ain't got shit to say, dog. 
about to end this episode, bro. One love, man. One love, man. Curly, he all, he always got something to say on the phone. You gotta stay away from the fake, man. Oh, yeah, man. Stay away from the fake. It's been a real episode. You say, what? What else we got to talk about? That's about it. Diddy. Stay away from the niggas. Niggas ain't no good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They ain't no good. Yeah, that's it. They ain't no good. Man, they they ain't lying with David Gass, man. He got a movement, man. Yeah, nigga should have been been rocking with Devin Dash. Devin, Damon Dash. I mean, he just signed somebody from that. What you guys say, Devon? You pop back on? Yeah, man. I keep in the back blank. He was locking, locking my ass out. Uh, so I was like, we, if you want to talk some more, hell, we uh, the TikTok <laughs> ban in the work, and then we also got oh, uh, yeah. the presidency. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's speak on that. I ain't got no clip on that. What you think about that? TikTok. TikTok. Uh, I'm for it. I because because I know they they using our data against us. So I'm not and I'm not really on TikTok like that. So it don't matter to me anyway. But I know that's a lot of people's livelihood. So I am um, empathetic, in, in, you know, to that, and I'm and I'm aware of that. So uh, probably some some the. the more practical solutions would be some real regulations on how companies get to use our data, who gets it. Um, the question is, why do they need so much data? If you, if you read some terms and agreements, like why do they need to go so deep to get all these files and access to your camera and your phone book, your phone book history? Like why do you need, why do they need all that data? <laughs> That's my question. Like what the you fuck know they doing? Why they need all that data, nigga? <laughs> I know why. They, I know why they need. It, but it's like damn, like. They want to know everything. Yes. What, what type of toilet tissue? <laughs> what type of deodorant? Yeah. It's all about advertising. Yeah. Okay. So use this type of deodorant. We're gonna see. We're gonna put a bunch of ads on your feet. Yeah. It's just. It's. You know how. It yeah. Goes. You can't even be within. Like right now, my phone right here. They gonna anything we talk about is gonna be ads. <laughs> right. Hey, for real. Yeah. yeah, man, that's just that shit's not I, mean, I feel like it's good and it could be bad because I heard a lot of businesses they getting they they getting they profit from TikTok. They getting their audience from TikTok. So. But it all started from Vine. Everybody forgot about Vine back in two thousand and like what nine, twelve, when Vine was real popular. All that shit started from Vine. Make a make a do all these little six second videos. Yeah. Vine was a shit up back in the day. I ain't gonna lie to you, but like uh, I think you got body and think Twitter bought it out, if I'm not mistaken. And so, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I know Vine was the OG. Vine started the shit, and that, it was dope. And TikTok just basically just expanded on it. It's just evolved the whole process. Yeah, you know how it goes. Some get old, another, some new come out. Yeah. Right. I wonder what's going to be the next TikTok. You know what I mean? What's the, what's the next TikTok platform? Or is TikTok going to be here to stay? I don't know, man. I had no idea, man. Cuz, what you got to say about the TikTok? It ain't no police watching black people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, the way so, the trap niggas here. They definitely watch them. But at the same time, that's how all these new hits going viral. That's how all these... New songs and shit going viral. They say TikTok getting niggas right. As far as the, the streaming, but the stream is saying they taking away from it. So it's two things I want to say. So about the streaming thing, I heard they're going to up the, the how much they pay artists for streams. I think it's going to go to now to like one cent now. They, they get a penny for each stream, which I guess is, it is better. But like, why, why can't they get a dollar? Free street. I mean, like, because <laughs> we got three songs out. He think we probably to have six million dollars off three songs. So, try yeah. to tell his ass it don't work yeah. like that, man. Yeah, they they really yeah. fuck with the artists, and that's and I, 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 I it's streaming businesses is uh ridiculous. 
especially and then the other thing I wanted to say was, you, go ahead. Uh, divide, especially on the producer side. Yeah. Yeah. It's the worst. Yeah, we really, we really get cut out of the picture when it comes to us. Um, and then the, but the TikTok thing, last thing I want to say about that is like, I think Florida was, uh, DeSantis is, uh, has like approved or signed a bill into law that's like supposed to like, I just found this out, so don't, don't, don't put me on the details, but uh, Florida decided to sign the bill that was supposed to uh, limit or restrict people under the age of 14 from using uh, social media. It's like a social media ban for people below the age of 14. Like they can't get a TikTok or a social media a Facebook account or nothing. Right. Man, I mean, TikTok, it's, the, it's, the, it's, it's one of the top apps. Let's be real. Yeah. Man, I don't know, man. I feel like it should just be one app. That's how I feel. I'm tired of having to post on three apps every one piece of content. You got to post five times. That shit get annoying. Yeah, it's true. And that's how I felt about the, about, uh, like, the like membership cards. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when, when smartphones first started coming out and then all of the uh, retailers started uh, put, like, getting an app for everything, everything that's used, they didn't want you to have an account and, a, and, a, and a, an app and, or awards points for every single retailer that you use, Kroger, JCPenney, whatever. And there's no way to really stream it. Like, this should have been like one app to say, hey, open this app. It should link all my accounts to all of my different retailers that I frequent a lot and I should go and just be able to scan whatever they use to have it go through. It. And yeah, and everything has the app now. Even when I try to log into Yahoo Mail, like, oh, hey, get the app. Like, why? Like, I just I want to just use the site. Like, why do I need to get the fucking app? Like, why? <laughs> right. That's how you know things. <laughs> it's it's annoying. Annoying. Well, yeah. I, it used to be the Yahoo. Now I got to log into Yahoo and I get the app while I download the app to computer. Right, right. <laughs> you going to have to get somewhere and stand still, man. Yo, yo, <laughs> connection going in and out. But uh, oh, that sounds like close to the house. Yeah, man. But like, end, end, end it all for him, man. To tell him what's going on. You know, let them know where to find you. We are gonna end it like that. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Thank you. Appreciate you, bro. Um, you know, much love. Uh, where you can find me is like, shoot, I'm. You know what? I haven't even uh, because I got kicked out or or like blocked out all my social media accounts. So I think the only thing that's up right now is on SoundCloud, and that's. Uh, SoundCloud, you can search. Uh, you can search Divine on the track, all one word, or um, at or there's like backslash D U O D E V O L O N. Um, and should bring up my whole my entire page. I think I got about 40 tracks on there. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't done anything recently, but I'll look into it. Hopefully, soon. As I can figure out this next step in life. So, one love, man. Peace. One love. Till next time. So. Y'all got it, man. I got a good episode. It's almost an hour. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Tap into us all platforms from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Real Conversations Podcast, Real Conversations Podcast Network on YouTube. Make sure to uh, follow us on all our audio platforms from Apple, Spotify, Amazon, and everywhere you can find your podcasts on the audio files. And we appreciate y'all, man. It's been real. Thanks for all the guests tapping in. We'll see y'all next time. It's been real. Hey. Status world. It's smooth. Be West. Be West, man. Hey, what you stand on? What if you take that ride tonight? Hey, what you stand on? What if you live or die tonight? Hey, what you stand on? Bottom line, gotta lead by example. Hey, hey, what you stand on? What if you take that ride tonight? Hey, what you stand on? What if you live or die tonight? Hey, what you stand on? Bottom line, gotta lead by example. Hey, 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 what you stand on? He testified and took the stand. He know he did wrong. Hey, when they switching up the plan, you know they head gone. Hey, when he say he down and all, you know it's bread gone. Hey, hey, and that's reality. I know it ain't had to be this way, but shit, it gotta be. And keep it real, he probably jealous of your salary. And actuality, these niggas casualties. Don't be no fool and get caught up in all these situations. Cause when you up and then he down, it ain't no hesitation. And nigga,
around and slam you out and leave you in the basement. This ain't no entertainment. Keep grinding till you make it. Hey, 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 what you stand on? What if you take that ride tonight? Hey, what you stand on? What if you live or die tonight? Hey, what you stand on? Bottom line, gotta lead by example. Hey, 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 what you stand on? What if you take that ride tonight? Hey, what you stand on? What if you live or die tonight? Hey, what you stand on? Bottom line, gotta lead by example. Kill Tyree, you know they dead wrong. Them niggas that's gonna slime you out, you know they dead wrong. Them niggas that be talking down, you know they dead wrong. Hey, hey, you know they dead wrong. Them cops that went and killed Tyree, you know they dead wrong. Them niggas that's gonna slime you out, you know they dead wrong. Them niggas that be talking down, you know they dead wrong. Hey, 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 what you stand on? What if you take that ride tonight? Hey, what you stand on? What if you live or die tonight? Hey, what you stand on? Bottom line, got by example, hey, 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 what you stand on? What if you take that ride tonight? Hey, what you stand on? What if you live or die tonight? Hey, what you stand on? Bottom line, gotta lead by example. Hey, hey it's smoke, it's smoke. Status words, we west. Let's get it, we with it. Take the ride tonight, hey, what you, hey, what you, what if you live or die tonight, hey, what you stand on, bottom line, gotta lead by example, it's smoke.